ni 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 What is up guys? Binky49 here. We're back on the Desolation Map and today we're playing a little mini game called The Terminator. Oh, this was a super fun game. It was brought to you by Omara Craft and me. Or no, Omara and me and myself. We combined on this idea and it was a beautiful idea. This is the way it works. Let me set this tone for you. It's the future. Artificial intelligence has taken control. There has been a war between man and machines and man is losing. 99% of humanity is dead. The only thing representing humans left is John Connor and his band of the resistance. Now, in this game, two people were Terminators. The rest of the people were the Resistance. One of the Resistance members was John Connor. The goal of the game is for the Terminators to kill John Connor. If they can kill him, then the Terminators win. The goal of the Resistance is to kill both Terminators. If they kill both Terminators, the Resistance wins, and humanity has a chance at succeeding at life. Now, John Connor was denoted by a red chest plate. Uh, the rest of the Resistance have black chest plates. The Terminators are stacked. They got all sorts of enchanted iron armor. Oh! So we're, I'm a Terminator right now, me and Wiscombe, and we just, by happenstance, came up on the Resistance here. <laughs> game over! That was the fastest game we ever played. I had to show it to you. It's just so quick, so easy, so smooth, so simple. Wiscombe missed the whole thing. <laughs> um, so now, if you look at my inventory, you'll see that I had three fireworks and a map. Now, the Terminators, at any point, could light off a firework and that would give them 10 seconds of gamer tags and they had a map too so they could see what was going on now in this game this is the second game I'm gonna show you that we are the resistance and I am John Connor I am wearing the red shirt so now I have to be careful I'm gonna speed this up I forgot to mention that the resistance at the start of the game had two minutes before the Terminators were released we all started in the, in the ghetto at the top corner of the map and we were allowed to go anywhere in the map. We had two minutes to go hide or go run around or whatever you wanted to do. But we had to remember that the Terminators could see us on the map when they shot their firework off for 10 seconds. It was very, you know, strategy oriented. A lot of times we would just run around and keep the Terminators guessing. But in this game, Whiskrum had a plan. And I thought it was a pretty good plan. I'll show you what it is. He wants to go to the downed aircraft on the other side of the map. Did I forget to mention that the Resistance members could respawn? I did not mention that. Sorry. John Connor could not respawn, obviously, because if he's killed, the game is over. But the Resistance members, the people with the black jerseys, as you see right there, they could respawn, but they're going to respawn in the ghetto. So this strategy was very risky because if, you know, the Resistance members died, it takes them hours to get back to the fight. Uh, so I fast forwarded it so we can, you know, speed through this. They're lighting off the fireworks, so gamer tags are coming on. I got 10 seconds. At this point, our strategy is to let them know where we are. We don't even care. They can come find us. We want them to come find us because we got us. We're gonna set a trap. Oh, Wisdom's got an idea of creating a funnel. What he wants to do is bring them into this airplane. We each start with one TNT and a flame bow. That's a power three flame bow. The Terminators have a power five flame bow. They have sharpness two iron swords. So the Terminators are way stronger than we are. Uh, all we can do is hope to team up on them. Health regeneration is off. Off, guys. This is hard stuff. So we're discussing our strategy here. I kind of want to go down into the belly of the plane and hide. But at the same time, I want to get a good video for you guys. So I'm going to be part of the last stand. Oh, they're shooting off another firework. So they're going to be coming any second. Now we need to get set up. Let's get set up, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I call the left side of the plane. I'm going to take the left side of the plane. And I'm going to put down a TNT. Now this TNT is sort of like my fallback. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna fight with this Terminator, and if he starts approaching me, I'm gonna light this TNT and fall back, maybe to the underbelly of the airplane. Oh, this guy right here, this is Vegito, and Vegito is a relatively newcomer to this game, and uh, I guess he was nervous or whatever he was, but you're gonna see some of the worst PVPing I have ever experienced in this game, guys. Remember, if we were fighting in close quarters. Do not stand next to me. Do not stand anywhere near me. Why are you standing in front of me? My skill, my only chance here is to get as many arrows on this Terminator as he's coming down this alley as possible before I light off the TNT and get the heck out of there. So I gotta keep this alleyway clear, yet Vegito is here. What is he doing? He's punching me! There's health regen is off! I tell him to stop. Oh my god! He punched me several times trying to get his TNT. He put his TNT in a terrible place. He tried to pick it up. I tried to kill him. I don't want to get him out of there. 
I want to get out of there. They're setting off another fire. Oh, keep him in toward the zone. They're setting off another fireworks pretty soon, I'm pretty sure. They're going to come any second, and I need Vegito just away from me. <laughs> That's all I want. I want him away from me. He's already, you know, taken a heart from me. He's already misplaced his TNT in a place where I can't really shoot it as I'm backing up. So, let's hope that there's no more problems here. The, T the Terminator, the T-1000s are on their way. You know they're coming soon, any second. So, it's just a matter of, it's like I said, just a matter of getting as many bow shots on their on the Terminators as I can before I have to fall back. Uh, think kind of like Saving Pirate Ryan. You know, the last scene where the Germans are coming in, they're rolling through in tanks, and all they can do is just fight and fall back. Fight and fall back. Here it comes. Ooh, that's a hit! Vegito right in my way! Forces me to do a jump shot. I really should have just killed Vegito in this instance. <laughs> in retrospect, I would have killed him if uh, I had known how this would turn out. So he jumps right in my line of sight. The only chance I have was to, you know, whittle them away before they get to me, but I can't do that now. I don't think Vegito's doing anything over there. I don't think he's done. He's getting hit. He's just in my way right now. Move. <laughs> Please move. They light off another firework. They, it's not like they don't know where we are, but I gotta get ready. Here they are. Here we go. It's that blue guy. There's two Terminators. One of them is blue. One of them is a purple one. So I'm just laying down fire, just hoping. I'm just hoping I can catch one of them. They're setting off uh, TNTs as well. Gamer tags are coming off. Here we go. All right, Vegito's down. I don't know if he did any damage or not. Let's hope he did some sort of damage on these guys before he got taken out. Because he did damage on me. Uh, I wonder if he can do damage on the Terminator. We'll see. <laughs> Whiskum down. Uh-oh. My, my posse's dropping. My posse is dwindling down, guys. <laughs> dwindling down, excuse me. Dwindling? I just made a new word. Uh-oh. What was it? Oh, here he comes! Oh, the Thorns! He has Thorns 3! Ouch! Oh, but I got some good hits on him. Oh, not the laboratory. I gotta stay in the bathroom. Is he coming down this alley? No. Where is he? Where is he? I lost the Terminator. I just lost him. Where is the Terminator? Come on now. I see him. I'm missing. I'm missing. Oh. Come on. Here he comes. Yes! I got one! One more Terminator left. There's only one left and it's just me in this airplane. I'm all by myself. My crew is gone. My posse's dead. I don't know what to do here. Um... I'm kind of scared, <laughs> to be honest with you, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't know what to do here. Um, do I, oh, here he comes! Oh, the thorns is getting me! Oh, good! I just get out of there. Good idea, Wiscom. This was a perfect place to funnel him. Now I gotta get out there, and I'm just gonna run back to my teammates. I'm getting the heck out of here. Just one Terminator. Oh, I'm stuck in the muck. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, God, he's probably right behind me. Get out, get out! Oh, no, I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Please, 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 please. Come on, come on. Come on, please, 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 where's the water? Oh, since when does fire take four hearts to damage? Is that something new? I feel like an idiot. I didn't need to run through the fire, but I was so frantic. I thought Lone was right behind me. All right, this is the last game on the show. We are Terminators again, me and Vegito. I'm going to give him a chance at redemption. Vegito, please, you got, you got to use your head in this game. I don't know if it was late at night or whatever, but Vegito was just spaced out on me. So he's got a chance at being Terminator here. Now for this game, I have an interesting strategy. What I want to do is I want to get deep into the map. Like I said guys, you could go anywhere on this map. This is a huge map. This is a 360 size map. It takes five minutes just to walk from one end to the other. And that's if you have food. So what I want to do here is I want to go sort of to the middle of the map. And I'm going to tell Vegito to wait. And I'm going to put him there and he's just going to stand there. Now I'm going to go to another part of the map. And I'm gonna, when I get to the other part of the map, I'm gonna light off a firework. That way, we've got terminators on two sides of the map. Now, when I light off the firework, we're gonna see where everyone is, and one of us is gonna be close to him. I guarantee one of us will be close, because we're so far separated. So, this is what we're gonna do. Vegito is gonna wait here. I, I tell him right now, wait here, Vegito. And I'm gonna go off into the, wait here, right here. Yeah, okay, he's gonna wait there. I'm gonna go off into the, into the, um, towards, into the west, sorry, towards uh, the cathedral and, and the high school. You know, it takes a little bit of time. Uh, that gives me a chance to thank Omara for coming up with this game. I talked about this in a different video. Basically, he came up with the Terminator game, and his idea was to have some two Terminators and the Resistance, and the Terminators had to destroy a beacon or something. Um, so I took that idea and I thought about it and I decided that let's make John Connor part of this. John Connor is the 
you know, the, the key to everything in Terminator. By the way, guys, if you haven't seen Terminator, close this video right now. Like, right now. If you haven't seen 1 and 2, just stop watching and go watch Terminator. You do not need to see 3. I don't know about the new one. I have no idea. But some of the best action movies ever made. Not some. This is James Cameron, guys. The guy who brought you uh, Titanic. The guy who brought you, you know, um, what's the one? <laughs> what's the one in 3D? I, I'm, I'm, sp I'm blanking. The Abyss. I mean, he's he's bought us some of the most action-packed movies that have ever been made. So go see Terminator and Terminator 2. I know they're rated R, but convince your parents. Your parents will let you because they are classics. They are absolute classics, and no parent would deprive their child of Terminator. No, no parent would. So as you saw, <laughs> as you saw, they're over by World of Toyota, sort of by the airplane, the airplane area. So I guess Wiscom's trying to funnel up, funnel. Funnel us into that airplane again, like that's gonna work, Whiskrum. I'm up to your your shenanigans. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna let that happen to me. Uh oh, it looks like they're killing themselves. I everyone has a TNT, and it looks like they use theirs for ill. So now, Wolf and Ejaws are gone. I think that just leaves Whiskrum and Lone Wolf as the the resistance. Uh, of course, those guys get to respawn, but they are so far away. They're out of the game essentially. So let's look around over here. I know the last known position was around here somewhere. <gasps> Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that red jersey? I saw that red. Just a glimpse of red. I'm, I saw that and I know that was red. Uh, it was fast, but it looked more like red than black to me. So I'm going to get up into Woda Toyota. As you know, all these SUVs are rigged. Mr. Woda rigged them himself right before you know the monsters got to Woda Toyota. So he was a little bit safe in there. And that's why there's TNT all in those SUVs in the ring around Wota Toyota. Because Wota wanted to protect his babies. I take a night vision because I'm the Terminator. Okay? I'm the Terminator. I can see in the dark. That's how it works. <laughs> I'm going up. I wanted to use the music, but copyright infringements, you know. There he is, all by himself! Did he see me? Did he see me? There's, he just took a bunch of fall damage. There's the health regen is off. I gotta shoot him, I gotta shoot him. There's my other Terminator, Vegito, go! Vegito, get him! Redemption, Vegito, it's up to you now. It's up to you now. Yeah! He did it! Good job, Vegito. That is redemption right there. Oh, we did it. That is the Terminator, guys. I hope you liked that. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and share and subscribe. Thank you. Peace.